Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to dive back into Cochrane, Alberta's real estate market, talk about what happened in November of 2024, and what to look forward to here moving into December of 2024. Before I dive into those stats, if you're new to this channel and you're interested in Cochrane, Alberta's real estate market or potentially moving to or selling within Cochrane, Alberta, then I would really appreciate it if you hit a like on this video, hit subscribe. I share Cochrane, Alberta real estate market information and community tours and information pertaining to Cochrane, Alberta's real estate on this channel. And if that's something that's interested to you, this will help make sure that you catch all that info. Okay, and diving into Cochrane, Alberta's real estate market in November of 2024, Cochrane again saw a decrease in the detached benchmark price and the total benchmark price, marking that two straight months in a row. Not to be unexpected moving into the winter months, but it is the first time in a few years that we've seen that. Now, the percentage drop in month to month increase or month to month price was pretty low, being in only about a half percent and a percent, respectively. However, Cochrane has still seen a 3 to 4% growth in those benchmark prices year over year. So while there was a slight slowdown in the prices over the month, Cochrane still is seeing a long-term growth in its prices. Previously, in other months, we've seen growths as high as 10, 11, and 12%. And whereas this one being about 3 or 4% is a much more relatively even growth year over year. Now, what fueled some of that price slowdown was that there was 100 new listings in November. Now that's an increase in almost 15% over last year's November in terms of the number of listings. However, that was matched with a higher than normal sales volume in November, where November of 2024 brought Cochrane's second highest sales numbers of the month of November in history with a total of 65 sales. So while we're seeing about a 65% sales to new list ratio, that is keeping our monthly inventory right around that two and a half mark, which is kind of the sweet spot for Cochrane in terms of its long-term outlook. So even though we did see that jump in inventory with those higher numbers of sales, we did still see a pretty high sale price to list price ratio where the homes are selling for about 99% of asking price currently in Cochrane. And now a lot of times, like I've mentioned in previous videos, when we sit there and we say we have 172 units of inventory, I pulled up the data this morning, it shows about 148 active. So I removed the pending listing. So anything that's conditionally sold, I like to break that down and see what is prior lived in homes and what is new construction and kind of what percentages are there. And currently we're sitting with 71 prior lived in homes and 77 new construction homes. So as you can see there, 50% of the available inventory is prior lived in homes that you could potentially move in within the next couple of months. The other 50% has a varying level of finishing timelines leading all the way up into like September of next year, being that we have about a nine to 10 month build time in new construction homes. So depending on what your time frame is of needing to move, the number of listings that are actually available to you, like I've mentioned before, is very different. So we're looking at just the inventory numbers is not really telling the whole picture. And that 50% number really flows through all the different market types. Townhouses, duplexes, and detached homes all see about a 50% prior lived in to new construction listing. The only difference in Cochrane is that apartment style condominiums, all of those 12 that are currently on the market as of this morning, which is December 4th, are all prior lived-in homes as there's no new condominium buildings currently being built that are being offered for sale in Cochrane. The ones that were being built currently in Heartland are a rental only option. So that's something to keep in mind if you're looking into the apartment uh, style condos, the newest ones being built are rental only and there's not gonna be an opportunity as yet that we know of to purchase those units. Now, in terms of the greater Calgary area, Cochrane itself saw the lowest increase in price year over year for the month of November this year, being at about three to 4%, depending on which metric you're looking at, whether it's detached or total. And if we look at the greater Calgary map here, you can see everyone else was almost double that in terms of price growth with the only other one kind of holding tight is Canmore. And Canmore is always staying lower than everybody else due to the price of those properties. So I think that's going to be important to watch over the next few months, just to see how that price growth in the other centers kind of makes Cochrane potentially look a little bit more 
desirable because it's not growing as much. So it might allow people to move into Cochrane at a lower price point than obviously Calgary, where as you can see, the average detached price is almost $100,000 more. So again, Cochrane is still sitting slightly more affordable than Calgary with a more modest price growth year over year, which could drive some interest from the Airdrie, Calgary, Okotoks markets, where there is a little bit less inventory down in Okotoks and higher price growth month to month and year to year currently than Cochrane. So that'll be interesting to track over the next few months. And again, to see what happens here in the next three weeks with another hopefully overnight rate dropped from the Bank of Canada and then seeing some mortgage rates drop going into 2025. So the first quarter of 2025 should be super interesting to see what happens here in Cochrane Alberta's real estate market. And as always, I will keep you updated on what's going on. And until then, I will see you in the next one.